pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council need a motion on the work session minutes for May the 21st. Move to adopt. Have motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Seven. I need two abstentions. Well, that's going to be six with two abstentions and one absent. Yes, sir. Okay. Need a motion for the regular council meeting minutes on the 21st of May. Move to adopt. Have motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Okay. Mr. Mayor, you up. Well, thank you. I'm going to hopefully um, contribute to making this a record uh, event today, the shortest city council meeting that we have ever had. We would love to participate. I understand in that. that. <laughs> KG Brown yeah, wants to join the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've got uh, a significant event. How many of you have ever Brenda. physically met a Triple Crown winner? You know, you got the Triple Crown in racing, you got the triple crown in baseball, now you're fixing to meet a triple crown, because baseball, leading batting average, home runs, and RBIs, same season, horse racing, you got the winners of the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. In any sport, it's a major accomplishment. And after winning the girls 4A titles in cross country and indoor track, the Montgomery Catholic Knights had their sights on winning the Alabama triple crown of running by outrunning, outthrowing, and outjumping, dominating their rivals in outdoor track. In the lead up to the championship, the Lady Knights completed, competed in nine events, never finishing lower than third. When they won the sectional championship before advancing to the state meet, they scored 102 points, nearly 40 points ahead of the team that finished second. We have the Lady Knights with us, and Coach Ed Wright is here. This is his third time to make an appearance. And as he just indicated to me, it's the last time that he'll make an appearance as a knight at Catholic because he's going on to bigger and better things at a four-year institution here in Montgomery. So would you guys welcome Coach Ed Wright. Where's Coach Wright? All right, come on, guys. Y'all can do better than that. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. How about tell us how happy you are, and then we'll call your players up, and we'll give them some certificates as well. That sounds great. Uh, finished the trifecta of track and field and cross country, indoor, outdoor, and and uh, I'm, I'm just so proud of these girls. Five of them have been through all, all uh, three of the events. It's been a long, hard journey for all of them, and... And as a coach, I've, I've said this when we did cross country, I said it when we did indoor, and I'm saying it when we're winning outdoor, is that the hardest part of this presentation is knowing that I've got seniors that are leaving, that I have watched grow from little kids to young adults, and uh, you know, it breaks my heart, but fortunately this year I get to go on to college with those seniors. And uh, it's going to be a new adventure for me as well as them, but their hard work and dedication and perseverance over the last four or five years has just been unbelievable. And uh, I, mean, I mean, what else can I say? Coach, did you give any of them a scholarship? Uh, no, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, we're, we're, we're only 3A. I mean, uh, <laughs> Division three. Come on and join us, and I'm going to ask all of the runners if they would come and join us up here. Ladies and gentlemen, the um, Catholic High Outdoor Track and Field winners. Yeah. Coach, yeah, we got a couple of coaches come. If y'all do not mind, uh, if you'll just kind of flank your coach here. we got two other coaches. Two coaches, if you guys would get on the, uh, each in the end, uh, I've got a certificate for Coach Coy Hunter. There you go, Coy. We also got a certificate for Hollis Johnson. Good deal, super. And we got a certificate for Ann Cobb. There's Ann. That's great. Thank you. And Jessica Hankins. Thanks, Jessica. Great. 
Jana Kroger, is she here? Okay, well, if she comes in, we'll get her. Uh, Jemaya Fenderson. Now, do you have a relative that lives in Mobile? Yeah, is that your what? Your uncle. He's a good guy, too. He used to live in Montgomery, didn't he? Katie Galvin. Katie's here. Did your father make it back? Yay, where's Michael? There he is. Congratulations, Michael. Good. And then we've got uh, Isabel Cochran. Isabel. All right, so let me ask you a question. Who's the senior here? All right, where are you going to school? Citadel. You're going to the Citadel. Wow. Going to Auburn, guys. Good. Anybody else? Auburn. Two Auburns. Yeah. 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 <laughs> War Eagle. And so, I, went, I, went, I, I failed to mention Talk here. Talk here. Oh, you can do that. Talking there. Oh. Well, the, the oh, TV will high. not be able to oh, hear okay. you. We're going to get a picture in a minute, Charlie. Are oh, you going to leave us out? Well, he, he wants to say something. Uh, okay. Our success for indoor, I mean, an outdoor track and field, not because of me, it's because Hollis Johnson, my distance coach, and my sprint coach, Coy Hunter, and uh, they better do the best they can to keep this thing going the next five or We're six gonna years. We're going to expect to see you. Off. We're going to expect to see you three times next, next year. Next. All right, congratulations, ladies. If you guys would stand, and ladies. Let's get a picture so that we can completely recognize you. Has the other ones come in yet? Y'all all all recognize past the guy here. If you don't know the relationship, they're family. Patsy and Ed. Her last name is Wright. <laughs> Maiden name. Police chief. Police chief. Great. Police chief. Congratulations, guys. Good luck. Let the record show that it's 12 minutes after. Very good, man. Thank you very much. Uh, we have nobody on the uh, Public communication of agenda items for the first item of business, Madam Clerk. Mr. President, item one, resolution authorizing and approving physical year 2019 action plan and authorizing application to HUD, CBDG, and home funds and ESG funds. And most approved, most to spend the rules. Most to spend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Item two, application for special retail liquor license doing business as B&B bartending at 300 Water Street, Union Trenches. Representative B&B &B bartending here, please. B&B &B bartending. Yep. Representative B&B &B bartending. I guess they're not here. We still have to have a public hearing here on this item because it's a advertised, right? I think they may have a time specific. Would y'all check you know on the application? What is the event? What is this the is event? special event, isn't it? Is that the train, is that the train shed? Yeah. Anymore? If it's the train shed, then it's uh, yeah. 501c3. Let me check the application just one second. Their event is going to be Five. held June the 23rd. So okay. 14. But this is special 18. event at the... You can carry it over, and it'll be a, 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 a okay, rush. Okay, we'll carry rush it over. Through, but first of all, I have to have a special uh, a, uh, public, public hearing. hearing. Right. This is a public hearing. Anyone like to speak against this item? Please come forward. Seeing none, that public hearing has been held. It's part of the council, and we'll carry this over to the next meeting. Item three: Resolution reappointing Ken Austin to the Mental Health Authority. Get yeah, a motion to spend the rules on the rest of the agenda. Motion to spend the rules on the rest of the agenda. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Item four: Pursuant to Section 1153. B1, Code of Alabama, authorization of demolition of unsafe structures at the listed locations. In a motion to uphold. Move to uphold. All in favor, raise your hand. 
unanimous. Item five, resolution assessing the cost of abatement of unsafe structures on various lots. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Okay, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Item six, resolution declaring public nuisances, authorizing abatement and assessing cost of abatement of public nuisances on various lots. Motion to uphold. You got to fill in to tell us the rest of the story here. But go ahead, Ms. Whitmore. Whitaker. <laughs> Put As you of on today, spot, we Whitaker. had 9,422 year to date complaints with 7,735 year to date violations. We're asking today to approve 254, 60 of which are the state of Alabama. Very good. Let's look at them. Okay, 257. Say it. All right, thank you very much. I motion to uphold. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous resolution is adopted. Okay. We have one item here on our desk for uh, contingency funds. I'm, I've had some added to that. Oh, have you? Yes, I sir. Can't imagine for, that. For District 2, $1,200 to Alabama State University Continuing Education. Okay. For District 1, Arrowhead Neighborhood Association, $2,000. For District 3, $1,000 to Sheridan Heights Neighborhood Association, $975 to Alabama State University Continuing Education, $1,400 to Alabama Dance Theater, $500 to Manor Ministries, $300 to Bellmead Spring Park Neighborhood Association, $300 to Bridge Builders of Alabama, $500 to Chapton Curtis Browder Ministries. Okay, anybody else? Any most Mr. President. Mr. <laughs> uh, Faith Outreach Ministry, $500. Georgetown Neighborhood Association, $500. And Norris Farms Neighborhood Association. Norris Farms? Norris, Norris, N with an N. N, 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 N yes ma'am, N-O-R-R, -R. yes okay. ma'am. How much? 1500 Yes, ma'am. Okay. And that's all. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, sir, Mr. President. I got some. Yes. Oh. District oh, 4, um, Shepherd's Ministry. Is that what it's called? The guy who was in there. I think that's right. The Shepherd's Ministry. How much? Um, $200. Um, Troy University. Uh, well, I guess it's the Rosa Parks Museum. June Rosa L. Park Museum. Yeah, uh -huh. June 9th. Um, let me do four hundred dollars to them for Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. Right. Juneteenth. Okay. That's another one too. Okay. Anybody else? Mr. President, move to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Quick. Unanimous. Oh. All right. Mr. Yeah, Mayor, you good. okay with these? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see you smiling, baby. <laughs> All right, uh, we got four people to speak to us this afternoon. I want to remind you we have a three-minute limitation. Uh, Mr. Babies, 